People tell me, you don't know what you have until you lose it. And in the blink of an eye, you can lose it. I was on a camping trip in the Canadian Rockies with my sister and my dog, Mocha. It'd been several days, and we'd had our fights, and we were fed up with each other. I was driving in the dark in the complete silent treatment. My sister told me she wanted to use the bathroom, and so I pulled over into a parking lot of a little strip mall in the middle of nowhere. Off she went into a restaurant. I am not going. I'm going to be staying in the car. Little did I know that blink of an omen was waiting for me. Far at the edge of the strip mall, I see three medium-sized, chubby, black dogs. And my dog, Mocha, glues his nose onto the windshield. You want to play with him? OK, let's go. I carry Mocha, open the door, got off the car. Out of nowhere, rushing to me, was a huge black bear. I toss Mocha back. Bang! I close the door. And I freeze. Those three chubby black dogs are running towards us. They are actually three bear cubs. This is definitely a wrong play date. <laughs> and this wrong play date is now turning into a staring contest. The mama bear is laser scanning me up and down all over. If I can survive this, I'm never going to complain about going through the airport security scanning anymore. Mocha, Mocha, aren't you going to protect me? <laughs> no reaction. <laughs> the mama bear is bouncing back and forth and pawing on the ground in front of her. I have never ever been this horrified in my whole life. Who said public speaking is the number one fear? Keep calm and carry on. <laughs> Strategize. Wait, where's the bear spray? We've actually bought the bear spray especially for this trip, and we've never ever used it. It's got to be somewhere within reach, right? Oh, here it is. Wait, what? A locking device on top? How do I open it? Uh, oh, the directions. 20 lines? Who did that? <laughs> Am I supposed to negotiate with the bear at this time and say that, hey, wait, I have to read the directions. Bear with me. <laughs> and of course, my sister is still in the bathroom at a time when I need her the most to read the directions. <laughs> the mama bear started snorting at me. What do I do? I suddenly remembered the picture we saw at the previous night's campground showing a picture of a car with its windows smashed, the doors punched and torn, and the car seats peeled open. The bear was going through the car for the food. Oh. The food. We've just replenished our healthy snacks for the next day. <laughs> Look, we've just bought blueberries, blackberries, cereals, and honey. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the mama bear is growling at me. This has clearly become a hostile takeover. 
Am I becoming the Bear family's Chinese dinner? <laughs> I've got to talk her out of this. The Chinese dinner is not a good choice. You guys will be hungry again soon. <laughs> and maybe I should put up a sign. Yes, MS3. <laughs> the mama bear stands up and starts pawing on my car hood again. I can see her long, curvy, dirty nails. She definitely needs big time the manicure and pedicure both at the same time. <laughs> Is she going to smash the windshield and peel me into pieces? Is this it? Is this how my life ends? Am I going to die like this? So young and beautiful? <laughs> As a human roadkill? And what about all those things on my bucket list, like go to the Antarctica, learn belly dancing, swim naked, perform at speakeasy. <laughs> How I wish my sister didn't have to use the bathroom. How I wish I could actually say I love you to her, which I have never ever done. If you don't know the Chinese culture, we never ever say I love you especially to the family members. <laughs> Weird, huh? <laughs> but now, how I wish I could say I love you to her just once. Suddenly, I hear noise coming out of the restaurant. A couple is walking out, talking loudly. And that got Mama Bear's attention. The three cops escape into the wood. Mama Bear turned around facing to me and gave me this last dirty look. <laughs> and then she runs after her cups. <sighs> That's it. They're gone. Talking about perfect timing, my sister is coming out now. The minute she gets into the car, I hug her. Oh, I love you. And that horrifies her. She pushes me away and says, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and ever since then, I always bear in mind that these three words, I love you, always bear repeating. <laughs>